Hello, my name is Dimitri. Today I'm going to show you a brief hands-on demonstration of how you can use a software called Global Office Find and Replace to extract graphs and charts from all of your Excel documents on your computer and save them as images. This is extremely useful if you want to use a chart, say, in a PowerPoint presentation. It will help you save the chart as a PNG, JPEG, or BMP image on your computer, which you can then use in any way that you see fit. You can download the software from www.officefindreplace.com. There is a free trial available. The software also has many other use cases. I welcome you to go to our website, www.officefindreplace.com, and take a look at other things that this powerful software can do for you. Now let me show you how this works. Let's get started. When you first launch the Global Office Find and Replace software, you'll be presented with this screen. In step one, we're going to select Excel because we're going to be working with Excel files only for the purposes of this demonstration. The software also works with Word, PowerPoint, and text, but for this uh, extracting graphs and chart, with charts, we're going to only look at the Excel use case. Then I'm going to uh, click on the button that says Select Folder to Retrieve Files from, basically saying, where do I want to search for my Excel files? When I click on it, I will be presented with this window. I'm going to go ahead and select my Local Drive C, Excel Graph Demo, Input Folder. In that Input Folder, I've already placed a few Excel files. The program says that I have three. Let's take a look at them and see what these examples look like. In my input folder, I've created three Excel chart examples. Let me just bring one up to show you what's in it. In this example, I have two graphs. I have a pie chart in the first uh, tab, and I have a line chart in the second one. It's basically a, a very basic, simple example of two different graphs, two different types of graphs. The other Excel files in my folder are basically copies of the other one. I want you to see and make sure you understand that I'm extracting charts from multiple Excel spreadsheets at once. And in this case, I have two different charts in every Excel spreadsheet. So in my result output, I should see six pictures uh, of the graphs that are in these Excel spreadsheets. Now that I've selected the three uh, files in my input folder, I'm exposed to step number three. And step number three will allow me to make to do many manipulations on the files that I've selected. For the purposes of this demonstration, we're only going to concentrate on the Extract Excel Graphs button. But there are many other different videos that we have on our website that you can take a look at to see how the other functionality works. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Extract Excel Graphs. Extract Excel Graphs will allow me to do two things. It will bring up this screen here, and it will allow me to select the output directory for the images, for the resultant extracted images from the Excel spreadsheets that I've selected in step one. When I click on Select Output Directory button, the same folder browser dialog will appear and will allow me to select the directory when I want, where I want to place the images that I've extracted out of my Excel spreadsheets. So I'm going to select the output directory in this example that I've created and click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image type that I want to convert them to. I'm going to go ahead and select PNG here. That's going to create PNG images out of the graphs in my Excel spreadsheets. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Save and Close. If you note, the background of the button here turns green. That means I've trained it and the program is ready to perform this functionality on the Excel spreadsheets that I've selected. The, the last thing I really need to do before extracting the images is select the output folder. This is the folder which will contain the original except Excel files that I've selected in the input step one. This is important if I want to perform some other manipulation of those Excel files. If I click on select destination folder for a result, I will once again be presented with the folder browser dialog and I'm going to select the output folder. I'm going to put the Excel spreadsheets and the images extracted from them into the same folder for the sake of argument. But you can make them different if you wish. After I do that, it will tell me where the output folder is going to be and it's also going to tell me where my log file is going to go. I'm going to go ahead and click on Perform Substitution. When I do that, the program will 
run very quickly. We have multi-threaded operation here. It'll run very quickly on very large number of files that you can input in step one. And I'm going to go ahead and click on open result folder, which will show me the folder where my output went to. When I click on the open result folder, you'll see that I have three of my original Excel documents. And notice also that I have one, two, three, four, five, six images containing the graphs that I extracted from those spreadsheets. So let me click on one to show you. And here it is. You can see that this is my pie chart from the uh, first spreadsheet. And we give it a na file naming convention, which basically says the spreadsheet name plus the name of the chart that is stored inside Excel. I can take a look at the second chart. And here is my line chart that I created that was in the first Excel spreadsheet. Again, note that we're extracting all graphs from as many Excel spreadsheets as you've selected in step one, which basically means as many Excel spreadsheets as you want as are contained on your computer that have graphs in them. Thank you for watching. I hope you could see that Global Office Find and Replace is an extremely useful tool that you can have in your arsenal that you can use to extract graphs as images from all of your Excel spreadsheets. Please go ahead and download it from www.officefindreplace.com and try it for yourself. It is free to try. If you have any questions that you'd like to ask us, please email us to exisllc at gmail.com. We love to answer question, questions about our software. Thank you for watching.